Hey everybody, it's Skaboopy, the one and only Skaboopy, back again with another Rate the Suits or Rate the Costume video. Th that that one also works. Um, hope you like that cool little montage you edit beforehand. Uh, I told you guys it wouldn't take this long to come out with another video, right? <clears throat> right? Okay, alright. I'm, I'm really sorry for taking a bit too long, but, but to make up for it, we're doing Shattered Dimensions. Which I will say is one of the best Spider-Man games. It's it's up there. It's it's one of the best. Not only is this the best Spider-Man game, but it's the whole reason there is an entire Spider-Verse. Because without this game, there would be no Spider-Verse. So you gotta thank this game for being the first game to introduce Spider-Man together. What about the Spider-Man cartoon? Shouldn't that also be considered as like the first crossover? between Spider-Man. It also has a neat costume selection too, but before we get started though, here's what I'm thinking about generally when I'm looking at these costumes, and I'm gonna talk about the game a little bit beforehand too. But you can always skip, it's right there, just, just do it, okay? Just, just, if you want to. <sighs> is this video gonna be a long one? I mean, if it is, I hope you like a long video. You know, stay put, I guess. <laughs> oh geez. Alright, and as always, thank you for stopping by and watching me play this game. Sorry if I was a little too loud. <laughs> I was a little too excited playing this game. And yeah, th th thank you. Alright, I'm gonna need a funny, wacky transition like always. Um. So, by the time this game came out, I had a conscious. And I was able to, to realize how badass this game was, you know? Like, damn, I'm, pl I'm playing such an awesome game. And what I really think helps this game a lot is that there's it's not a big open world free roaming, right? It's level by level, and it's able to have its own set pieces, its own cool little um, areas based around different Spider-Man eras and uh, universe. Um, my favorite being how they handled the noir section, which is, you know, just black and white. And, you know, it can also be in color too when you're in the light, but man, it's so awesome how he takes down goons. Like, Jesus, dude, calm down. Fuck. God damn! Bro, he, he, he kicked out all his fucking teeth. Jesus, dude. Not every single Spider-Man game needs to be open world, and it would be cool to one day see a game like this, you know, kind of return, maybe a Shattered Dimensions sequel. Uh, God knows that will never happen. Anyways, um, with each great cool level, there's a different villain that's set in that universe, you know, something like, you know, Kraven, Sandman, but you got like the Hobgoblin, which is like, an original design made for this 2099. But then you got somebody like Deadpool. You know Deadpool, right? You know, funny, breaking the fourth wall, stuff like that. But you know, that that's 616 Deadpool we're talking about. This guy is 1610 Deadpool from the Ultimate Universe. And uh, he's not very, um, he's not very good. He's, he's kind of mutant phobic. Is that what you call it? And uh, he also looks like this under the mask. And also he dies by the, the main continuity Deadpool too, did you, did you know that? But if there's one thing that this game loves to do, and it's the POV first person shots. Like, you're, you're literally, you're literally Spider-Man, you're him. Oh, oh. Here I come, oh, here I come. Oh. And especially the fisticuff, fisticuff sections, which I actually like, you know, it's pretty awesome. But it does get a little... You know, like, frustrating because I want to see Spider-Man doing these actions instead of the first person view. It looks cool and all, but like, it's frustrating when I have to get these costumes, like, these cool shots. And I, I can't see it because I'm fucking Spider-Man that has a GoPro on his goddamn skull all the time. It's a little annoying, but hey, I like it and I don't like it. And before we move on, I gotta talk about the soundtrack of this game. We don't give enough love for soundtracks in games. 
And this one has some banging tunes, all right? I could I could literally spend all day like picking out tracks that I that I found enjoyable to listen to or just pump just just like oh man this is fucking hype this shit's fucking awesome dude what the fuck anyways I'm just gonna pick like at most three okay three is that fair the 2099 theme in this game is like a sense it's like a rush not like an adrenaline pumping it's more like oh man I gotta go let's let's do this. Let's go for it, you know, like really cool to hear. And I believe they use like samples or they use some kind of inspiration from this music for Across the Spider-Verse. I might be lying, but if it's true, that's cool. And the other soundtrack pick I gotta choose because I realized if I did three it would have been way too long so I'm just gonna pick two is the Carnage theme uh, for this game is is absolutely like awesome dude it's so it's it's intense I will say and it's it fits Carnage very well it's it's why I used this theme in the in the last video Web Shadows anyways just take a listen. And I swear to God, dude, call me crazy or whatever, but I, I swear they took inspiration from Ultimate Spider-Man, like OST, and used it for this game. Because I can hear those same percussions they used from, from that game in this game. And, and a lot more. Hey, listen, so, somebody somebody fact check that for me, okay? Fact check that. Anyways, here's a little more because it, it deserves to be heard more, okay? God, you hear those drums? You hear that orchestra? Like, what's with the orchestra in, in, in the ultimate OST? God, holy shit. This game, game makes, makes my dick, dick rock, rock hard. hard. And yeah, um, this game is always great. Just like I remembered it as a young lad. Fun to play and every Spider-Man fan should play it. Give it a go. It's really fun and you, you enjoy it. Alright, alright, I know you skipped to this part of the video, it's okay. Might have uh, taken my time talking about how much I love this game in the period section, but hey, here you are, if you decided to stick around. Before we move on, I'm gonna go from this order. So I'm gonna start with Classic Spider-Man, then Ultimate, to then Noir, and then 2099. We'll finish it off with that. <clears throat> also, it's very hard to see two certain costumes with Noir, so we might have to like look at those a little differently. Anyways, let's take a look at the default costume as always. So let's take a look at what they've done to the classic Spidey outfit this time. I will say this is definitely by far the best classic Spider-Man costume I've ever seen. But the, the best one is in the next game. Spoilers. Anyways, this, this, this costume just reeks of pure classic Spidey. Now, it's always just nothing much when we try to dive in to dissect the classic suit besides them changing the logo on the front and the back and the lenses, of course, but that's that's the that's the perfection of a classic suit, you know? It's perfect. And this is a very perfect suit. The lenses are like that perfect length of wide. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit and the logo on the front. It's it's like it's in your face. 
it's not too big it's not too small it's again like the perfect size Honestly, the only complaint, and this just might be a me problem, is that the fat spidey symbol on the back. Is this stretch like a bit too much? Or is that just me? I, I don't know. It's, it's just weirding me out. Honestly, I, I really don't see any issues with this costume, and if anything, it's more of a preference up to you whether you like it or not. Like, if you prefer the more like sky bluish kind of thing going on there, or prefer like the wider lenses or not. But this Spider-Man is supposed to evoke the classic Spider-Man, you know, the early days of amazing Spider-Man. And I think it does that perfectly, and that's why it's an easy 10. Wow, that was, uh, kinda easy. Alright, let's move on to the alternate costumes for this guy. What, what do we got? What, what, what kind of picks do we got? Oh. Okay, okay, maybe I was a little too harsh on Bombastic Bagman in the very first Spider-Man episode. You know, you gotta have that one, you know, pick. You know, that one weird goofy pick for a Spider-Man costume, man. Here we have the Bombastic Bagman. And you know what's pretty cool about this game is that they give you a little info on the right and the origin of where this costume originated from. So that helps me a lot. And I wish they could just add this again into the future add in a little info G give give the new people some cool new information so if you didn't read it um pretty much the gist of this costume is um peter didn't have a costume he went to the fantastic four he gave him uh, the fantastic four suit plastic bag and yeah but uh yeah this is a very comedic outfit uh, on the back it says kick me so that's that's pretty funny and the plastic bag has two circle eye shape holes that that's pretty funny to look at too um, what do you what do you want me to say about this costume? I, I genuinely don't know how to look at this costume. It's it's not a Spider-Man costume. T technically it is, but it's, it's kind of not. And people like it, and I find it funny. You know, it's it's history. It it happened. So how about we just put this at a good middle of five? What what do you, what do you want me to say? Oh, his eye holes are different from the comics. We should put it like a letter grade down. Okay, let's just. Move on. <sighs> My fucking god. All right. The suit has been has had a has had a long time coming. I'll tell you what. I I've been ready to talk about this suit because like why 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 do why do you gotta waste the slot? You know how many slots each Spider-Man has in this goddamn game? Only three costumes for each Spider-Man. All right, Bombastic Bagman took up one slot. Fine, fair enough. But you gotta add Secret Wars Spider-Man. I grew up just disliking this costume, and my opinion still hasn't changed. Like, the only thing I really like about this costume is the black and orange, which is kind of unique, you know, orange webbing, but that, that, that's it. And in the comic that this costume debuted, it, it fucking barely shows up. You wanna know? You, you wanna see? You wanna want see the costume in, in, in its full glory? Uh, here you go. Oh, what? You can't see it? Hold on, let me, let me turn to the other page. Oh, you still can't see it? Oh, it's actually his hands right there. That, that's all you're gonna see. That's it. Oh, and the cover. Yeah, and there's also some concept art, but I'm not- I'm not looking that- I'm, I'm not fucking looking that up. I just- I just don't get this costume. Why do they have to add it, like, in, in mostly every other fucking Spider-Man game? I don't- I- I don't get it. Why do pe- do people like this? I don't get, like, what's with the weird, like, blue and, like, weird, like, sweater vest thing. It's- it's like a- it's like what swimmers wear when they surf or some shit like that. What's going on? What's going on with this goddamn costume? Stop adding it! I, mean, I, I might be overreacting for like funny haha YouTube, but like I, I generally don't understand this costume at all. I, like, I want to get you, dude, but like I don't. And I'm starting to genuinely dislike you very much, so you're just you're just going to be a three for now maybe maybe a four i don't know I, I i don't know the only cool thing you got going for you buddy is is the cool aggressive eyes that kind of remind me of web of shadows but you're staying fucking three for now okay you aren't thin nice i better not see you again in the next goddamn game okay stay out of my territory you swimsuit shithead <clears throat> okay uh ne next costume With two mediocre costumes out of the way, the last suit that you'll be able to wear for uh, the Amazing Spider-Man here is Scarlet Spider. 
Man, doesn't he just look great as always. I'm pretty sure at this point we're all accustomed to who this guy is. Clone of Peter Parker, created by the Jackal. Um, you know, thinks he's the real Peter Parker for a while. Um, it's, it's weird clone saga stuff, don't worry about it. But he's his own thing now, and this was his first costume that he wore, I believe. Um, they pretty much nailed um, Scarlet Spider, you know, they got his gauntlets, they got the belt, which I always forget to mention, bracelets around his feet, and the, 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 the chest symbol, you know, the logo, it, it changes from time to time. Sometimes it's small, most of the time it's big. I prefer if it was big, just like in the game. I will say though that the hoodie he's wearing in this game is more like a weird tattered vest like where the with the hoodie part right the hood it's just tattered and it's like weird like it's more of like a vest than anything else and um as always this is a me thing i'm not a big fan of the the gauntlets or the bracelet around his feet i don't know i don't like it that's me though maybe you enjoy it that's cool you can't go wrong with the Scarlet Spider costume, you know? It's like, it's it's awesome, everybody likes it, I like it. I'm just me, not a big fan of the, y like I said. But, um, but I don't think I should downgrade this because I don't like what I like on the costume, but other people might like it. It's weird, I'm not gonna think about it. So I'm gonna put this at a 9? I'm thinking a 10, however, I'm not, I prefer if it was a hoodie instead of how it's tattered, but may, hey, because it's tattered, it kind of looks cooler, right? So hey, think of it as a 10 or a 9, you know, I, I, it's hard to choose between, so let's leave it at 9, maybe it's a 10. What is that? It's our inheritance. I thought, I knew. I could finish what he started. It definitely improves your enjoyment if you played Ultimate Spider-Man, the game, or uh, read the issues like I did. And it gives more weight to the suit he's wearing. Especially if you didn't 100% complete that game. Well, in this game, it's the default and, you know, symbiote moves and everything. It's fucking great. I love it. Anyways, this is the youngest Peter. I believe he is 16. And he comes from the Ultimate Universe, Earth 1610. And even though he only wears the black suit, like, very briefly, very briefly, it's the most coolest symbiote design, in my opinion, that I love. It's really that purple sheen, you know? It's like eye candy, I can't stop looking at this thing. And they don't make it complicated, it's simple, it's sleek. And that skinny build this young Peter has kind of makes this suit look even cooler in, in a way, I can't describe it. Oh, and the fact that this isn't an alien symbiote, it's something made by Peter's and Eddie Brock's dad, I believe, to fight cancer. So it's very unique from any other symbiote. Like, it doesn't even share the same weaknesses like sonic vibrations. It doesn't affect this suit at all. Maybe fire. I don't know. It's a very weird symbiote. Um, yeah, um, this thing is going to be a 10, no surprise. I feel like if I say so otherwise, I'm gonna be put, like, at the stake on the cross. I mean, I, I, I agree with you guys. And I, I really want to gush more about this suit, but that'll be me delving into the gameplay. And I'm here to look at costumes, but, like, Jesus, the gameplay of this guy is awesome. I love the tendril attacks. Can I just say that? that, that that's my favorite thing, tendril attacks. Love them. To be honest, beforehand, I thought the symbiote moveset was gonna like rear me out a bit, considering that these costumes aren't symbiote related. But honestly, it's it's fine by me. You know, it doesn't bother me one bit, and it definitely doesn't make me enjoy this costume like less. I I actually am very fond of this costume. It's very like look at it. It's it, it's so good. There's this blue undertone that's applied to the costume and it really accentuates the suit like even more. Not only that, but if you're a fan of the Ultimate costume and maybe you wanted like an upgraded version, like a better version from Ultimate Spider-Man, well here you go, it's here. Granted though, he's a little taller in this game, but hey, he still looks cool overall. J just look at him, I just, I just want you to look at him. 
He's got them big eyes and he looks skinny. So there you go. I'm uh, I'm not too sure what else to say about this costume. It's just a it's a variation of the classic suit, you know. And if you like Ultimate Spider-Man, maybe you wanted a better version of the costume from Ultimate Spider-Man the game. Here you go. Yeah, and I and I like it very much. And this is definitely the last time we're gonna see this Ultimate Spider-Man look again. So I'm giving it a ten. So this Peter never really wore this outfit, actually he, he never even wore any other costume other than his main costume, but besides that, they, they gave it to him because, well, he, he fights Electro, and, and it makes sense. But um, basically the suit was created to fight Electro, no duh, alongside the X-Men, and uh, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty snazzy. You can tell it's a Spider-Man costume, but you know there's differences obviously. Like the logo has changed, and it's more how do you, how do you, what do you call it? Like padded, and plus the wider lenses uh, actually fit. You know this Ultimate Universe is Peter because he has wider lenses. So there you go. And I've run out of things to say about this costume. <laughs> I, I guess if you like the whole rubber padded look it has going on for it, then yeah, you'll you'll enjoy it. I like how different it is from a usual Spider-Man costume, kind of, but it's still Spider-Man through and through. He definitely looks neat, and that's why he's going to be a uh, neat. Okay, maybe he's a neat, but uh, I'm indifferent. I can't choose. I'm, I'm a silly Billy. I can't decide. <laughs> even though it's it's kind of my job to rate this, I'm not even getting paid. Anyways, he'll stay a seven for now. It, it's a fine suit. I like it. It's definitely a lot better than the next costume coming up. So this Peter's origin is he's from like the spider clan and his uncle died by Venom, not the symbiote, it's like a weird samurai. Anyways, he gets revenge or something and recruited by the Spider-Verse people. But there's an issue with this costume in this game in that it's, they didn't go for the over-exaggerated over look like in the comics or how they did it in the PS4 Spider-Man game. And instead they try to match it to this, you know, um, taller, Ultimate Peter. And I'm not a stickler to comic accuracy, but like, I feel like they could have, you know, at least made his head like weird and, you know, like a xenomorph just like in the comics or how like the PS4 did it. But instead, they, they didn't. You want to know what they did instead is copy the face, like part, like down to his neck from the Ultimate Spider-Man costume and pasted it on to this guy's head. And I swear to God, they, it, they looked just the same. I think that's what they did. They copy and pasted it. Oh, and I, I guess they made the hands big and the shoes big. Like, but like, if you want, if you're gonna go all the way, go all the way. Don't, don't half-ass it at least. Come on. Okay, I'm being a little rude. They, something must have happened, or they didn't really have an idea or the time to put in another costume for Ultimate Spider-Man, and they came up with this. But uh, generally, overall, at least they got some parts of it right. Like the logo, they got his backpack and everything, so that's cool. Um, but to me, the, the main guy or Spider-Man is, he, he's like, okay, but in this game, it's, it's a four. It's done better in the future. <clears throat> Anyways, we're at the halfway point of the costume selection, so let's take a look at the next Spider-Man. You can't escape me, coward. Now, this Spider-Man is definitely like up there as one of my favorites. He didn't immediately become Spider-Man after his uncle died. Which, mind you, his uncle died by the Vulture who the Vulture just ate him. But after witnessing and photographing like a bunch of horrible stuff and as soon as that spider bit him and he realizes he has powers, he just, you know, went ahead and just went full in. The goggles and mask are like pilot fighter stuff from his Uncle Ben who served in the war, sewn together, and I believe the trench coat is also from his Uncle Ben, and he always has a gun strapped on him just in case. He's just a very cool Spider-Man overall, you know. He's very wishy-washy about killing, but man is he brutal and he's, he's just he's just so cool, look at him. Those goggles that light up and everything, 
He doesn't have his trench coat, which is probably like game play reasons or they couldn't add it, but he still looks cool without it. However, if there's one thing that this game does just weirdly is they give him a back logo and they do this for 2099 too, but like, I, I don't know why they add it. I think they add it because, you know, for you to look at because you're looking at the character's back the whole time, but like, I don't know, it's too weird. They, they, you didn't need to, and I don't know how to feel about it. But um, yeah, he's just super cool, and his whole aesthetic is based on late 1930s, the Depression era, and he's fine with a trench coat or without a trench coat. It's tomato tomato, but hey, the trench coat would be cool. For now, I'm gonna stick Spider-Man Noir to a 10, because I don't remember when he comes back as a costume. But, but that back logo though can send the letter grade down depending on people's opinions and to me it's it's whatever I don't know why it's there but it's there but it won't affect me all right hear me out I know some of you just looked at that costume and you're like ew what the hell is that but but just just hear me out. It's it's not that bad. This is concept art turned into an alternative costume in this game that he almost wore. But hey, thankfully he didn't. So why do I say this costume isn't all that bad? Well, it's I I feel it gives off that classic Spidey suit vibe. So. You know, if you're feeling like, eh, alright, it's too dark for this guy, uh, l l l you can put this on and it, it, it definitely gives off that vibe. I will say, this, there's an issue with these, with this colorful uh, costume and the next one, is that you can't really see all the colors that much in the dark. And you're barely in the light sometimes, which is why I'm here fighting in this lit up area of the game. But yeah, um, if you're wondering, this costume is like leather and it's supposed to be sepia. And the blue is pigeon gray. And I don't really get the whole weird dot pattern. And I'm not a big fan of the goggles either, so. But I do like the shun guards, which I like to call the invincible guards. But that's me. And this is gonna be like a six. Um, if you noticed, that was a kind of a bad transition. Well, I, I couldn't find like a cool shot for this guy for 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 a transition. So that's that's the best you're gonna get. That's that's why there's these it, there's this issue with these colorful costumes, and it's hard to look at when you're like moving around, sneaking around. But during the light, it looks good. Besides that, this particular Peter comes from Earth 311, where the setting is the 1600s. And this Peter grew up with Nick Fury, the, the white one. Eventually, he's been by a spider all the same. But the weird thing is, is that he doesn't wear the specific costume. Well, specifically the mask, it changes. The rest of the outfit is, is pretty much the same except the mask. The only time I actually found him wearing this entire fit you see in Shattered Dimensions was when he was performing in the Globe Theater with Mary Jane and her dad until he was fucking impaled and got the, the fucking soul suck out of him like Shang Tsung and died. 1602 Spider-Man is definitely a very unique pick that you will never ever see again until the next game I think. So it's, it's pretty cool to see him. It looks like he wears white gloves, but it's, he actually wears no gloves at all, it's just his hands. But it's supposed to invoke the whole, you know, 1600s look with those weird goofy ass shoes and that English looking vest, which also encompasses the weird big spider logo on the back, which I don't mind. This is a very old Spider-Man, so I don't expect him to, you know, go all out or anything. Very minuscule, makes sense for the time. And I do like him without the lenses, you don't, you don't see that often at all. Overall, I think he's really neat. You know, he's a 7. He's only being hampered by the noir levels and how they are, considering how dark it is. So you're, so you're gonna barely see how good this guy is, or how, you know, fun he is and colorful. So let me just have this and put him at a 7, because you're, you're fucking gonna barely see him ever again, okay?
This is pretty much the coolest costume for Noir so far. And it's a negative zone suit. And look at that thing, dude. It's perfect for the dark and the setting that the Noir levels are set in. And pretty much the gist of this costume is that Peter went to the negative zone. His costume got all, oh no, it, and now it's black and white. And I feel most games have different, like, ideas in the durations that this costume is based off of. Like this one. Like, some things are a little different that I noticed, like it's more grey than like clear white. And there's some wrinkles in there too, which is some nice added detail. Although, I'm not sure if there is supposed to be even webbing on the negative zone suit. Maybe there is on another page. I don't know. And they kept the eyes completely dark and the lenses around it white. So, hey, there's your comic accuracy. However, upon closer inspection of this costume, I notice it's kind of a repaint of the Ultimate Spider-Man costume. Except he looks a little bulkier, maybe? I, I don't know, but you can see side by side, it's, um, it's, it's similar. And I'm not sure how that affects this costume, and I guess they didn't have time to uh, properly make a unique um, negative zone costume. I don't know. Maybe it's not the same, maybe I'm just looking into things, maybe I'm going crazy, again. If you can look past that it's a recolor of the Ultimate Spider-Man costume, um, it looks pretty cool. You know, swinging around, doing cool stealth takedowns with this costume. Looks good in the dark cause, well it's a dark costume. Unlike the concept one in 1602, which is where they're more colorful. So with that all in mind, um, this is the coolest one Noir has, so I'm gonna put it at a 9. It's not a 10 because I, I, I think being a recolor of another costume that doesn't really help it much. And, you know, the default noir costume is just cool as all hell. So, like, but hey, this is an option too. And it's not a bad one at that. This day is yours. Yeah. Then how come I feel so bad about it? Alright, now this is a lot of people's new favorite ever since fucking Across the Spider-Verse came out, and I can't blame them. This isn't Peter Parker, as you know. This is Miguel O'Hara, who was given the powers of the spider by a machine that he was kind of forced into. But, unlike Peter, he has retractable talons in his hands and feet, so he doesn't stick to walls. Instead, he uses these talons to, you know, climb. And they can be very, uh, deadly sharp weapons too. He has fangs in his teeth to paralyze opponents. They're, they're not poisonous. It's, it's just paralysis. And I, some other stuff in there too. I don't know. So, so he's not a vampire, okay? N not a vampire. Those are spider fangs. And with all these great powers and everything, he has to have a cool ass suit to go with it. Which is from his closet to celebrate the Day of the Dead, but he, he refashioned it into the Spider-Man costume. But... The suit is fitted with unstable molecule. Something created by Reed Richards and it's pr pretty strong, alright? That, that's all you gotta know about it. Not 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 that kind of stuff you see in the Across the Spider-Verse movie. No, 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 no. This is Reed Richards patented good shit right here. Besides all that, this suit looks great. And after the many games that introduced this costume beforehand, we finally get like a really good version of the suit. What I also like is there's this light that's traveling through his body. So it doesn't look just like a blue costume, but there's still some added detail onto this 2099 costume. B besides that, there's that great muscle definition and maybe a little bit of padding as well. Not to mention they finally gave him those cool sharp edges near his arm and elbows. I mean, I've never seen him use those like once before, but they look cool as hell. And to like accompany the red stripe that goes down his arm finally. He's just a very sharp looking Spider-Man in this game. You know, like look at his back, that looks sick. But uh, like I said in the Noir section, he also has a back logo in this game. Um, I could do with or without it. I don't know. It's, it's funny looking. Also, this has nothing to do with costume, but why, why is he given like only one beatdown POV in this game with the Hobgoblin? Like, come on, man. I think I'm gonna put this guy at a 10 because, uh, like, this is the best 2099 I've seen so far. And I think he might look better in the next game, but for now, he'll be a 10. And maybe if I see a better version, this will be downgraded to a 9. And, uh, not else to say about this guy, he's fucking awesome. I can't wait to see Beyond the Spider-Verse in 2030. Oh boy. So, um, I don't have, like, a cool shot to freeze frame and do, like, a 
like what I've done to the other costumes before, but like, dude, it's like a 40 minute long video, dude. Let me have this one, okay? All right, shitty intro aside, this is a pretty, you know, fun character. It's actually an android that was created like before 2099, and it was like supposed to mimic the first superhero I came across with. And it already had recorded some one hero in particular, which was Spider-Man, I believe. Basically, 2099 helped fix Flipside, and it couldn't identify him, so it adopted Spider-Man and Venom. He put that together, and it created this psycho murderous android. But it can also be a weirdly friendly thing. I don't know. It's a weird guy. I will say he does look a little ugly, but during the game, he does feel more like a robot. Except, I don't know. It's just kind of like a weird red bodysuit than anything else. But the blue helps along with the cool, like, metallic webbing has going on as well. If anything, he's just a fun reference to the 2099 comics. And I guess you can say that same argument for Bombastic Bagman as well. Like I said, I'm gonna be less harsh on that guy for now, alright? But yeah, I mean, uh, he's just a weird looking design. Like a bizarre version of 2099 or just Spider-Man in general. Some last thoughts before I rate him. Um, I think he looks cooler in the comics. So like, maybe instead of the blue they went for the game, they could have went for the black. Maybe they tried that and didn't look that, that good, but uh, I don't know, I think he would look cooler in black. He just seems more menacing in the comics than here. Oh, and instead of adding like the cool eyes for the big spider logo in the middle, it's just a BBS, a big black spider in the middle. With that in mind, I think he's fine, he's a 6, you know. I think he could be done better in the future, but I don't think they put him in the game ever again after this, so, so sorry flip side. Okay, a favorite of mine returns, and it's the spider armor. And to sum it up really quickly, because I already did in the last video, Peter's very first armor he wore against a group of villains, you know, was bulletproof, all that. It broke off, and he never wore it again. But a lot of people like this outfit, and I do too. And I don't know why I like this costume until I realized that they make it look way cooler in the games. I mean, it looks cool in the comics, but in the games, they just it just looks badass. If I had to tell you my favorite part about the spider armor costume is the black like nanofiber, black carbon kind of going on under the whole metal exterior. It, it just, I don't know, I, it looks cool. It just, it's like eye candy. Of course the metal plating is pretty cool too and it has a unique front logo and back logo to accompany it. Not only that, but this suit also uh, does that shining thing that goes throughout the whole body. It did that for Philip side, I forgot to mention, but for the spider armor, it goes through the segments of the suit. Like, look at that, that's cool, that's a cool little detail. That's awesome. And the lenses are just pure bright white and just go along with the mask. And it's just good. I'm just gonna waste no time at all and put this at a 10. It's always, it's always cool to see it and I, it may be a turn off. If people don't like how it shines throughout the whole body, but like, come on, man, it goes through the segments. That's awesome. Anyways, 10, let's move on. And the last costume for 2099 and this entire video, technically, I'll tell you later, is Iron Spider which was made by Tony Stark to give to Peter Parker, you know, bulletproof, you know, yada yada, all the good stuff, but with the retractable arms that are cool. Except this suit is pretty tainted by the Civil War events and he never wore it again. I will say that this isn't my favorite out of the whole array of costumes out there, but I can see why people prefer this costume way more than the MCU one. But hey, it does look cool in this game, I will admit. Comparing this to, Sp to the spider armor from before, this doesn't really feel all that, um, how do you say, like, armored or anything. You know, it, it feels more sleek, but it does have that red jumper suit, <laughs> whatever you call it, that the flip side problem has. But if you want to compare it to the comics, they, they pretty much got it right. And, you know, they have that circle thing in the back. Too bad, no retractable arms, but... Hey, what are you gonna do? But just like the costumes before it, it does have like some light flashing throughout the entire body. But this time it's colored red to accompany, you know, the whole red aesthetic. Maybe, maybe gold could have worked too. Bright yellow. But, you know, red's fine. It's, 
unique. But um, here's some more footage of him running around. Um, I literally don't really have all that much to say. It's just the Iron Spider suit and they did it well enough in this game. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but uh, I can enjoy it for what it is. At least you don't have to collect fucking 700 emblems like in Web of Shadows. Like what the hell, dude? Christ. To finally give this thing a rating, I'm gonna give it an 8 because I, like I said, I don't know what else to say. They did it right, I see no issues, not really a lot of mistakes. I will say that the red is a lot better than in Web of Shadows, but yeah, that's all I can say. But wait, there's more! If you pre-ordered from GameStop or whatever the, whatever the fuck you had to do, you get four additional new costumes that you can never get ever. And it's these four cosmic suits based on Cosmic Spider-Man, and they're all unique to each other. I mean, look look, look at this trailer from, from like 12 years ago. Look how cool these, these costumes are, like what the hell? But um, yeah, I can't review these costumes properly myself. Um, I, I guess you could just look up a YouTube video of somebody, you know, recording them, but even then, uh, I'm just gonna rate them from how cool and unique they are from each other. Like, starting from left, Spider-Man, that's, that's a 9, I guess. Noir, that one's pretty unique, that's a, that's a 10. Like, cosmic-powered Noir with them white pants, that's, that's pretty badass. And he keeps the black boots too, that's pretty cool. Symbiote, Ultimate Spider-Man, now that's pretty. That's pretty dope. Look at that. Instead of the white, it's all black. So that's cool. Even the even like the what do you call it? Molecules are black. That's pretty cool. And 2099. It's pretty much uh, it's pretty much the Amazing Spider-Man, but like lighter in tone. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. Who watched till the end of this? Sorry again <laughs> for taking way longer than usual. You know, yada yada, life issues cropping up, it's just, it's just how it is, but hey, at least I cranked out a 40 minute video for you guys to watch, if you enjoy my content, like, but like, why, why do you? <laughs> but if you really like what I do, um, I usually stream every so often, so you can check me out there on my Twitch as well. Thank you for whoever watch is the streams, and especially you people who watch it after it's over, I, I don't blame you. You do that. You do you. And I guess I would now declare that this is the longest video so far on my channel. And if it wasn't for any issues during the editing process, I would have uh, put this out earlier. But uh, there's, there's more than that. I'm Skaboopy, the one and only Skaboopy, and thank you for watching. Yeah, Don't forget to subscribe. All right, but you have to admit, with four different Spider-Men, the one thing I know for sure, out of all of them, I'm the best!